Hi, I'm Gregor and I'm working on the expense report refactoring kata. And in the last episode, I was refactoring the code to make adding a new type easy. Now we are ready to test drive our new launch type. For that, I will just copy those lines in my big report, make the new type launch, which doesn't exist yet, obviously. And I know that the limit should be 2000, so I will use the max amount below the limit and one above, so we can test the limit. And in order to make this test compile, I will have to create the enum constant. Now, I could start test driving this and, and, and initialize it with an empty name and so on to see uh, the test fail. But basically, I think we should not get ahead of ourselves. Let's just write the correct name here. And we also know that it is a meal. So this is true. And we also know the limit, which is 2000. And I will put it in the next line and jump back to our test. What we can do though is we can open up the approved report for our lunch and change it so that it looks like what we would expect. So what we would expect here is two new lines, uh, one that says lunch and the other one also says lunch. And we added 2000 here and 2001 in the second line. And the second one is over limit, that's fine. And then we have to add the 4001 here. So this is, or oh, here, the meal expenses. So we increase this number by one and this number by four, which is six. And then here it, it gets a little tricky and I really don't want to do the calculation. So I will just run the test right here. Take a look at it. And we see a div here. Ah, I see. That's because IntelliJ has automatically removed these white spaces here. I will, I will again add them. And let's check the, the number. So since we are negative, it first had to remove 4001. And it looks fine. It, it removed one here. And it removed four here. Therefore, it also needed to remove one here. That's totally fine. So I will save that. And our tests should be green. So as you can see, it was fairly easy to add the new expense type after making these refactorings. And before I forget, we need to commit this. So let's commit this. What we did here, we add new type expense type lunch. Next, we can do some gold plating and improve the code even further. So let's take a look at what we can improve still. One of the things I noticed is that this is over limit. I think I, I should move this to the expense. And this does not work because expense type dot limit is private and it won't be accessible from the outside. So this limit won't be accessible once I move it to the expense. What I can do to solve this is to first encapsulate the limit. And I think we only need a getter. And let's keep the field private. That's, fi that's fine. And accessor is package local like the others and do the refactoring. So now we have this new getter and it uses the getter here. And I should be able to safely move it to the expense. That's fine. So what else can we improve? 
it's a little bit weird that as a consumer of the expense I have to go to the type to grab its name. I'm not even interested in what the type can do and so on. So I will just I will just extract a middleman here that grabs the name. Let's call it get name and move it to the expense. So this is this is much better. Um, same really goes for the type here. From the outside, I'm not interested in the internals of the object. So let's create a middleman for that. And that is ismil and move it to the expense. Same for the amount. I think we can create a getter for that. And here we can even use it below here, replace. And this two, yes, replace and move it to the amount. So tests still work. So I think we can uh, commit that. Refactor encapsulate expense maybe. And I was a, a little bit fast here. So what I noticed is that in this is over limit, we are passing the expense type. But we already know the type. It's, it's in the field here. So I don't really need to pass it. I, I should be able to just use the field. And then I can safely remove that. Run the test, see if that works. And we are in the green. So I would like to commit that and amend to my previous commit and fix it. Now let's see what else we can improve here. Now in the expense report, I think this loop is doing way too many things. And let's see, let the mail the mail expenses is really only used down here, or is it the total? So we can we can move those down to the loop, and we can even start splitting the loop. Let's extract the calculation of the meal expenses. This does still work, so I will extract it and get meal expenses is a good name. Yeah, let's keep that. I will do the same with the total. Um, let's move the total up here and close the loop, start a new one. That should still work. Now we have its own loop for the total. Extract that. Let's get total. And then inside the loop, what we are doing is really we are printing a single expense. So I think I can inline the name. That should be fine. What I do not want to inline is the marker because it's a little logic that I would like to keep in its own line. But this really is a print single expense. But what about this behavior? Right now, this behavior is part of the expense report, but I don't think it should be. It should really be a part of the expenses. But the expenses are just a primitive list. So this is the primitive obsession design smell. And I will show you how I fix this smell in the next video. I'm Gregor. See you next time.